Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video and uh, today first of all I just want to say um, sorry for the delay in videos um, I, I've been uh, working with some friends on the server uh, so yeah the um, I've been mainly uh, going on there of, of an evening instead of um, going on Minecraft like going on a single player world um, but basically the thing I've been working on is uh, the uh, 1.9 breeding system uh, that is coming to the game. Now, basically, um, basically what breeding is is you can you have two animals, uh, you feed them both wheat, and um, if they're close enough together, they will produce a um, baby animal in the uh, pre-release three. Um, but also, um, which wasn't in uh, when breeding first came out, is that the animals that have just bred, I guess that's the word, um, they now have a cooldown on them, uh, so you can't breed them again. So I wanted a system to almost uh, fully uh, automate um, the breeding process, sort of. So this is what I've uh, created here. It's just a uh, single line of track, uh, which basically has uh, two little functions to it. Um, to make the automation process uh, easier. Uh, so the first one is uh, the cooldown uh, reducing loop. So basically these will all come up and then if there isn't any spare space it just goes around in a loop and um, when these come out uh, they have re re uh, released a item onto a pressure plate down here and so that means that it has to wait until the item has despawned before it can move on again. So I'm just going to simulate that now. There you go. So then that uh, card is then released. And you see that one came back in. Um, but then you don't want this one to go straight off to being released. So what I designed here is a system um, so that it only releases one card at a time. Now the way I'm going to have this set up is I'm going to have two of these either side. So this will release one side, uh, one animal, and I'll have like a clone on the other side to release another animal. Now, um, the reason that it you have to release them one at a time is because if I powered all of those and they all came out, they might create a jam and then uh, disrupt the system. So I designed that so that it doesn't do that. So I'll just uh, I'll take you uh, through that in um, just one second, but I just want to see you. I just want to show you um, what uh, like device I'm designing this for, and this is the uh, device here. Um, basically, it is uh, a way to have um, the the um, sorry. So you can have the two animals come up and you can breed them and then the baby animal will go away and then you can send these um, off to uh, be uh, going to the cooldown um, system. So two carts will... oops, sorry. There you go. So two carts would come up just like that and like that. So these would have animals in them. Uh, that you can then breed, so breed, breed, and then once you um, breeded them, just click on there, and they would get fired away into the uh, cooldown system, which I just showed you. Uh, basically, the way this works is uh, to be able to pull uh, power tracks has been around for a while, um, but the main thing that you want to keep here to be able to move the car away again is that you don't power these at all when they're being pulled back by the piston uh, because there is a slight bug where if you do power them there they will um, break off sometimes and if you power them here um, if you try and power the track there uh, then it will just stay powered all the time so that the um, cart will just rebound again so you need to keep it off until you actually need it to turn on so the way I do that is just using a pulse limiter here which comes down underground, so it's looping all the way up and then just goes here uh, to that wire which um, powers both of these. 
just like that. And that sends the card down here and then away. So now I'll uh, take you through uh, this cooldown system. Um, so I'm sure most of you know how to do the um, uh, looping system or the uh, system for filling up slots. So basically what this is is an RS null latch here and so when a cart comes over it um, sets this RS null latch and when this RS null latch is set it just adjusts um, this uh, um, junction here so if I then take away a power you see it switches back switches forward um, and so once that's switched round Why is it like that anyway? Oh yes, because I took away the um sorry about that. Um so that switches round the stuff so that they all get filled up. And then with the um waiting bit, because we want them to wait for at least five minutes, is they have a dispenser here and this dispenser releases um just dirt or any block you like go straight into this block and then it can go onto the pressure plate so when this pressure plate uh, is activated it turns this power track off so if we look um, don't want to break too much but that wire just goes under there which then does vertical wiring up here I'm trying to make this uh, as compact as possible but it, as you can see it's still a pretty long thing but I might try and um, make it more compact later on. And then this power tracks just are activated by the um, detector rail here. We could just have these powered separately. I just yeah just left them unpowered uh, because we need this detector rail anyway to reset um, this RS null latch here. And then with the um, waiting uh, bit here until the button is pressed. It's um, uh, this was the bit that annoyed me the most about this system. I'm not really annoyed, but at the start I just couldn't figure it out, and um, so yeah, I got annoyed at myself. Um, but basically, what you have is just a system where it will release this first cart, and if this detector rail is activated before this second cart is released, so basically there's been no cart sent from here, this can then release. So the way I set this up is you just have a um, have it go round, so it activates this one and then it'll activate that one after a delay and that one after a delay. And then from the detector rail you just have this RS null latch here which switches round and comes down here and then this is the bit that just annoyed me is trying to line up this one with this one so I originally had this much a uh, smaller space but it didn't uh, fit in so I then extended the space so that I could fit in uh, the system to be able to move them across and then once I've uh, done once this is lined up it we can I can probably just show you uh, if I activate that one there, you see it then allows this light to turn on, which then means that this light can no longer turn on. So it can't power that one. So if I just add a bit of delay. And then power it. So the car gets released, you see that stops that one going. Ah, that wasn't on properly. Let's try that again. So that car gets released, blocking that one off, and therefore it doesn't move. Okay, um, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope this helps you and I hope that you can um, design some stuff that will uh, help in the 1.9 pre-release. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time.